Et la Copa Cosi de Kivu commence à arriver et aller à Goma. Copaco, TD, division. Il y a la Dumelog division. Nous sommes en train de partir au combat. Nous sommes allés au combat. Nous sommes en train de partir pour le combat et voir comment ils vont pouvoir bouter les ennemis hors d'état de nuire. Vraiment, nous avons comme les troupes général qui est venu à mon amour. Et aussi, il y a aussi le général Hamakombo comme Osserance. Il y a la dialogue. Il y a moi, euh, le secrétaire général, qui vous parle ici. Voilà alors les troupes qui se rendent au combat. Et le voici là, il est le général Hamakombo. Les gens qui jouent avec les phares d'essai sont en train de marcher ensemble, ils nous accompagnent. Il y a les troupes qui les suivent, il y a aussi des munitions. Euh, voilà les troupes qui passent à Révis. Voilà, nous sommes nombreux, il y a des autres qui sont derrière. Et voici, nous sommes vraiment déterminés d'aller mettre l'ennemi hors d'état de nuit afin que nous rétablissions la paix dans notre pays, afin que nous assurions l'indépendance de notre pays sans controverse. C'est pourquoi nous sommes décidés d'aller battre l'ennemi. Le général Tachibera qui vient de passer, il est là, et voici. Et nous sommes déterminés avec les PMF. Voilà, merci beaucoup. Très bien. Et courage, courage, maman, c'est courage. En tout cas, c'est beau. Très bien, merci. Hmm. Quand les choses vont bien, ça marche bien. En tout cas, c'est très bien. L'ennemi aura chaud. Welcome back to another video and don't forget to subscribe. As fighting continues in the Democratic Republic of Congo, North Kivu province, more rebels have joined uh, the war zone that is taking place in the eastern part of the Democratic Republic of Congo. The Mai Mai, Laila, Motomboki and Kopaku rebels have also joined the war in the Democratic Republic of Congo between M23 and FRDC soldiers. These rebels were seen on a video entering North Kivu province. This eastern part of the Democratic Republic of Congo is becoming a battlefield between different militias who joined the FRDC soldiers to fight against the M23. These rebels of Mai Mai also have joined to fight against the M23 in the Democratic Republic of Congo. M23 resumed fighting in 2021. That's the time they resumed their fighting. They got up their guns and they decided to fight against the FRDC soldiers. And in 2023, different militias like FDRL that is against the Rwandan government and also Mai Mai, Nyatula, Masinari, Wagner and different militias who decided to join FRDC soldiers to fight against M23 also were given guns by the DRC government to fight against the M23 and they are now in the eastern part of the Democratic Republic of Congo fighting. We've seen uh, the the M23 rebel leader, Major Willem Gomer, in an interview, he said that the FRDC soldiers keep on violating the ceasefire agreement by shooting East African Community Region of Force peacekeepers. And of recently, one Kenyan soldier who is part of the East African Community Region of Force was killed. The FRDC soldiers, in, an, in a statement, they said that they did not shoot that person it is the M23 they were accusing the M23 something M23 refused they say they denied the accusations and said that it is the FRDC soldiers who did that the M23 rebel leader said that uh, the FRDC soldiers have continued to use a Sukhoi fighter jet to shoot so they mistakenly shot the East African Community Peacekeeper in the Democratic Republic of Congo. East African Community Regional Force accused both rebels and FRDC soldiers of violating ceasefire agreement. And also they accused the soldiers of shooting 
the East African community peacekeeper in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Fighting continues. Very many people have been displaced. They have, they have been running away. They have vacate, vacated their homes. Children have separated with their parents, mothers and fathers, women. They no longer get the necessities they need as women and young girls, something that is dangerous. And also we've seen so many different militias who've used this war as an advantage on young girls, something that is against humanity in the Democratic Republic of Congo. DRC is preparing for elections in December 20th and also President, Paul, uh, President Felix Tshisekedi is a presidential candidate who hopes that uh, citizens will give him another term in for five years after becoming a president in 2019. President Felix Tshisekedi has so far ruled DRC for one term, five years, and is expecting to be voted again in, and also given another chance as a president in the Democratic Republic of Congo. His competitors also, they are very strong. They are uh, very serious men. They are willing to fight for that seat. They want to become the president of the Democratic Republic of Congo. And uh, President Ife Shekedi is facing uh, high competition from the opposition leaders. President Ife Shekedi, who is now currently on tension yesterday in a video, in on national television, he came and said that he is not going to accept Rwanda, not not even being their friends. He said that he is going to build walls, not bridges, between his country and Rwanda government. President Ifele Shekedi, who is very angry with Paul Kagame, the former friend, he said that he will never accept ceasefire or he will never accept the, uh, the agreement with the, between him and the M23. M23 rebels ever since they resumed fighting the only thing they have been asking for is uh, to negotiate with the uh, FLDC uh, with the Democratic Republic of Congo government. They want uh, the, to agree with the President Feshekedi. They want him to put a signature on his on their papers they want them they want to negotiate they don't want to fight but president felicek had refused and said he cannot sit down on the same table with the rebels he must fight he must he must use all efforts all tactics he can to fight against the rebels in the democratic republic of congo